Hey guys, welcome back to Just Shake or Steer, welcome back to the channel, welcome back on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday session. Is that could be a thing? What are you thinking? Drop me a line down in the comments, yeah? If you're new to the channel, stick around because this video is gonna be a little bit different than just making a cocktail. Yes, I'm gonna do a cocktail, but I wanna talk to you about something else. I wanna talk to you actually how I create cocktails for beverage brands and how I came up with the recipe. If you're one of my followers here, one of my subscribers, thank you for watching again. Welcome to the Sunday session. Let me know, should we make it a thing like a Sunday session and just do something different than I uh, usually just present the cocktail? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I like to hear from you. If you're new to the channel, stick around. This video may be a little bit longer, but because I'm gonna walk you through how I create cocktails for different brands when they contact me, because I don't just do cocktails, I don't just work behind the bar. I've been consulting and been creating cocktails for years. So I wanted to share with you what I actually do, okay? Today it's a little bit different. I, I think you need to know a little bit more about me and uh, why I'm actually standing here on YouTube and I'm talking to you and I'm showing a cocktails, okay? Uh, yes, so Brands, if you follow me on Instagram, guys, but uh, you know, I do present very often a brands and cocktails, signature, they're not signature, they're just made cocktails, recipes created for particular spirits or liquids, okay? And if you don't follow me on Instagram, change that. Go and follow on Instagram because I may do cocktails here on YouTube every Thursday and sometimes Sunday, but pretty much I do more often cocktails on Instagram, so you can follow there and find out about different recipes and try them at home, okay? However, today the video is more about how I work my way out of doing recipes for brands. So very often brands contact me and they want to send me their product. First of all, it was a collaboration, so I can share on my Instagram and second, so, as a pictures because I do photography, product photography and the third reason is to combine all together, not just create pictures for Instagram, not just uh, uh, try the product and uh, share with my followers what it's all about, but also create a recipe for them. So this is what I do, yes? I work as a bartender and I work for myself as a photographer, product photographer and also I work as a beverage consultant. Not officially, it's not uh, something which I do on a daily basis, but very often I end up working with brands and trying to create something different with their products. In these days, uh, cocktails is popping out from everywhere and people creating stuff, so we don't talk about signature cocktails, we don't talk about something which may end up in the books, uh, which we don't know, because I may write a book one day, you never know, but uh, we talk about uh, finding the best drinking uh, and serving experience for certain brands and certain beverages and spirits, okay? So today I've created one cocktail a few days ago. The brand is Kalevala Distillery from Finland. They got in touch and they sent me their rum and their gin so I can work with them and try to create something and obviously uh, send it back to them and share with my followers and the gin which they send me is the ruby gin so the ruby gin is basically infused with uh, cranberry and blueberry yeah so it's a gin the classic gin how it's made but it's infused with cranberry and blueberry so when i was thinking about what recipe to create uh, I had to take a few things from like for consideration, under consideration. First of all, the spirit which I work with. So this is a gin. It's uh, quite straight 
forward spirit, but it's not a dry gin, which it's have the juniper character or maybe citrusy notes. Uh, this one it's infused with cranberry and blueberries. So the cranberry, as you know, it's a wonderful, refreshing berry when it's made to juice, but it's have this tartness and dryness in the berry. When the blueberries, they are lovely, juicy, and they have a touch of sweetness. So both of them work really nice together as a berry family and combine together. So in the right balance, you get a lovely, nice, dry, sweet, fruity drink. And this infused with spirits, it's bring total different experience. However, creating a cocktail, you want to keep the profile of the drink somehow in the level when it's not going to get vanished and get overpowered of other ingredients. So you want to enhance, you want to uh, bring the flavor, you want to complement this drink. In very rare cases, you may need to overpower it, depends on the strength of the drink. But uh, in generally, you want to create something around the spirit, which is gonna enhance and push the character and create a totally different drinking experience, not just having a, uh, let's say, gin with tonic. It will be fantastic. It's refreshing. The cranberry and the blueberry with a lovely, let's say, some, uh, flavor tonic or even just a normal Indian tonic, it will be fantastic. Maybe with cream soda as well in a feast. But I wanted to create something which is based uh, on the actual drink with few compliments and trying to go around the same profile flavor. So what I pick, uh, let me tell you quick. I pick Campari, which is keeping the same, first of all, keeping the same color profile. So we go of the ruby red, we're keeping in the Campari. And it's a very small amount of the Campari just to bring a little bitterness to the tart, dryness and the sweetness of the berries. Then for a touch of more sweetness, but natural sweetness and just like a lovely, uh, like a fruity aroma, I, I use the rooibos uh, syrup from Monin. Now, rooibos, if you don't know, uh, it's, a, it's a bush which is grown in South Africa. So it's exclusively cultivated in South Africa. And it's a, it's a lovely, settle, like a very natural little bit of sweetness and a lovely aroma. And they call it the red tea in South Africa because, again, you're keeping this nice dark color. Also, it's a very good replacement for coffee and tea because uh, it doesn't contain any tain inside, okay? So for people who kind of want to get out of this uh, substance tain, uh, the rooibos, it's a fantastic replacement and you can enjoy a lovely, just like a tea if you have the leaves. But Monin took this opportunity and created a lovely syrup. So we have already the gin with the berries, we have Campari for bitterness, we have the rooibos syrup for a little bit of natural sweetness, like a round aroma around the cocktail. Then I'm using a little bit of grenadine, which is a homemade grenadine. If you want to know how to make a perfect home grenadine, make sure you click the card or check my homemade ingredients playlist. Uh, I'll leave link in the description anyway, so you can prepare perfect home grenadine. But this is what I'm using to finish with the sweetness. And now because I'm introducing two sweeteners here, uh, this is going to bring the level of sweetness a little bit high and it's going to kind of start overpowering the gin. So to level down, I will introduce a fresh squeezed lime juice because the lime uh, we all know uh, it's not like the lemon. It's still citrusy, it's still soury, but it's have this natural sweetness in the sour inside. So it's not this level of sourness like uh, the lemon. So it's keeping the sweetness level very balanced. And in the same time, it's uh, bringing a little bit of sour citrusy to the drink. And finally, to close up, I am introducing the cranberry juice. This is top up. So 
it's a personal preference the, the cocktail which i create it's served in a high bowl so you can serve in a bigger glass and put more cranberry juice but this basically is gonna bond all of the ingredients and it's gonna bring back this berry filling now this is all the liquids which i'm using uh we're getting too complicated i think uh, don't think uh, it's too complicated i mean for me it's take time to think about this and try and errors but i'm just want to give you like a roundup uh, how you can try creating cocktails at home with ingredients you have uh, are you still with me if you're still with me or if you're new to the channel and still with me thank you for sticking out don't forget to subscribe so you can get more videos like that and thank you for watching so again hit the like button if you like it finally i will introduce some blackberries let's do the cocktail so the cocktail is made in shaker of course because we have a fresh fruit so with the fresh fruit we have five of the blackberries going in your shaker now them you can just how many four five so five blackberries uh, you can muddle them if you want or just because you're shaking they're gonna break enough to release the juice and the aromas it's up to you if you prefer to stir and not shake make sure you muddle first the berries okay because i'm gonna shake i will not touch that okay then we'll go with our ruby gin the kalevala ruby gin we'll go with 45 ml of kalevala ruby gin it's wonderful it's really nice set of gin i really like it now next is the campari the campari it's only 15 ml so 45 of the gin 15 of the campari this is gonna bring the bitterness inside in the cocktail but it's not gonna be bitter at all it's just gonna be like a nice touch on the back end of bitterness as i mentioned earlier i need to introduce some sweetness so the rooibos syrup and the grenadine they will introduce sweetness and both together they're gonna be very little amount so seven and a half ml of each so around seven seven and a half ml just a little bit you don't want to overpower the sweetness you don't want to overpower the gin we need to be very careful with uh, pairing uh, the ingredients seven and a half ml of the homemade grenadine of course you can use uh, grenadine from the shop but trust me uh, homemade grenadine it's fantastic it's miles better and this one i made it i don't even remember now it's been two months and it's still in the fridge and it's fantastic so again check the link in the description how to make your own homemade ingredients and homemade grenadine okay a lime juice i'm gonna have to squeeze a 15 ml so let's put it to the measure and see let's keep on the recipe by the way i want to i want to share with you that the recipe now it's officially registered on my name in the national bartender association so quite proud of it 15 ml of your lime juice going inside just clean a little bit here and as i mentioned uh, the cranberry juice is to top up so we have our ingredients inside now we need ice and give it a good shake it needs to give it a good shake so we can break the blackberries and release the juices and the flavors beautiful now we're gonna get this lovely purple character from the blackberries almost black so fresh ice in the glass there you go and of course i'm gonna do a double strain because we have the blackberries inside we don't want any of the fruit going in the actual cocktail we want just the liquid so look at this color 
it's almost black yeah it's like a lovely dark purple violet color because of the blackberries lovely it's just beautiful there we go and now final ingredients cranberry juice top up a little bit of steer just so we mix the cranberry juice with everything else and obviously garnish because the the gin it's infused with uh, blueberries and with the cranberry i decide for garnish to use blueberries which you can kind of a snack when you drink it's absolutely fantastic and it's kind of a closing up and everything together even i put lime juice i'm not going to use any lime for garnish we're going to stick with the profile of the actual gin so five blueberries on the stick a uh, small serving napkin and this is it guys there you go as you can see it this is the cocktail which i create for kalavala distillery and it's called ruby berry cup simple as that because the gin it's ruby gin it's using fresh berries and it's infused with berries and it's served it's kind of a like highball cup that's it guys a little bit longer video i hope it's kind of a give you the idea what i do and uh let me know in the comments if you want me to do more videos like that sunday session which we can talk about uh, flavors about experience about how to pair them how to create stuff what's working with what what kind of spirits as you know i'm starting documentary which is called behind the bottle where i'm gonna interview actual brand ambassadors and representative from the brand so i will have a chat with kalevala hopefully we're gonna have a soon interview with them to talk about more about the products behind the bottle from the people who are making them uh, but for now thanks for watching just shake or steer and if you're not subscribed yet and if you're still watching hit the subscribe button it's gonna make me really happy and it means a lot to me for now enjoy the rest of your new week and i'll see you with a new video on thursday until then stay safe and keep creating cocktails in your home because that's the only way you're gonna find out what you really like see ya bye